Well, hi everyone. I'm local five chief meteorologist Brad Edwards. We are looking pretty quiet as we go into Wednesday evening here. Enjoy that. A lot of people are on holiday and it looks OK. Dry conditions, but more showers and thunderstorms will be coming in from the west here as we get into the forecast. You can see them coming into western Iowa overnight by 3 a.m. Scattered showers, isolated thunder possible. Not much rain is going to make it to central Iowa till maybe early morning tomorrow and then it starts to break up. So there might be a few showers around. 4th of July in the morning, but it does break up by the early afternoon. We've got to watch northern Iowa. There's a chance that some of these cells could develop 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, even up to maybe 6 o'clock, but there's a chance they could even spin up a little bit in northern Iowa. So a slight chance of some severe weather, primarily a little bit of a tornado threat there in northern Iowa. It does quiet down, though, by fireworks time, 10, 11 o'clock. Most areas should be dry on the 4th of July. Now, Friday's an interesting day. Starts off sunny, but then the clouds develop in the afternoon. Spotty little showers kind of pestering us Friday afternoon and it will be breezy on Friday as well. You can see these clouds that's wrapping around a big area of low pressure, so expect a lot of wind on your Friday. Here's what the forecast looks like for tonight. Partly cloudy skies, some thunder showers out mostly in western Iowa late tonight, and those showers will be around tomorrow morning. So we have a chance of rain in the morning and then a chance in the afternoon. A little break in the middle of the day, though, and it's not going to be a washout really anywhere. They're just going to be pesky. A high about 82 degrees for your 4th of July. And here's what we got as we go into your 10 day forecast. The temperatures are going to be quite cool for this time of year. Upper 70s, lower 80s through the weekend. That rain chance continues again Saturday night. It looks like a chance of rain Sunday morning, a chance of some rain and early next week we could have some thunderstorms on Monday. Finally, we get some warmer, drier weather by later next week.